In this video, let's talk about rows versus claims. When we should use rows and when we should use claims. So let's first understand what is row, right? Because we have already talked about claims before. We haven't talked about rows. Let's use an example. If we have a page, right? And this page is a configuration page that only admins are allowed to, to access. Admin is a row. So we have admin row, and then we have a bunch of users. If we want the user to be able to access the configuration page, what we have to do if we use rows to manage this is that we need to give the admin row to the user. Or in other words, uh, we need to assign the user to the admin row like this. Then the user would be able to access the configuration page because configuration page only allows admin rows to access it, right? Suppose this user also is admin, then this user is also able to access the uh, configuration page. Let's say we have another page, we call it sales department. We have to create some sort of role through which user can access the sales department page. We will use the sales role. So in order for this user to be able to access the sales department page, uh, we will have to assign this user to the sales row, right? And now this user is able to access the sales department page, but this user cannot access the configuration page. Right? And this user, if this is only a regular user, then this user cannot access any of these two pages. If you twist your mind a little bit, the logic here is, is just saying that if a user is a min, the user can access the page. And if we twist it, then we can think that if a user has a admin claim, right, then the user can access it. Same here, if we twist our mind a little bit, we can say that only when a user have a sales claim, then the user can access the sales department page. And because we know that a claim is simply a key value pair. So in this case, in the first case, we have the first two users. They both have a claim whose key is row and the value is admin. And the third user also has a claim and the key uh, for the claim is also role and the value of that claim is sales. And this regular user doesn't have a claim like this, a role claim. It means it's just a regular user. So with this example, you can clearly see that a role is basically a very simple claim. It's so simple that the logic is basically saying, for example, with a maintenance page, which is saying that any user who has a row claim and the value it equals to admin can access the configuration page, right? The sales department uh, page is also any user who has a row claim and the value is sales. Uh, those users can access the sales department page. It cannot handle any more complicated logic. Whereas if you use claims, you can have multiple claims, you can combine them together, you can create policies, like I showed in the first uh, section, that you can create policies out of a combination of claims. So you, you can be very flexible. However, rows are more straightforward. If your requirement doesn't require complicated logic in order to give permissions to users to access certain resources, then you can just use rows. You don't have to use claims. But if your requirement needs more complicated logic in order to give permission to users to access resources, then you should choose to use claims. So it's really uh, each one has its pros and cons, right? Rows are simpler, but it cannot handle complicated scenarios. Claims are more flexible, but there's a little bit more work to do. So that's the difference between rows and claims. So to use claims, for example, I just want to show you a quick example. If we go to our original under the hood, where we have uh, the pages and then we have our policy like this, right? If we do a comma, you can see that we have rows, right? Basically, you can say rows. 
like this and then you put your roles here for example you may have a manager role here and you only allow a manager to access the hr manager page right and then you can uh, have comma separated you can add more roles to be able to access this page so it's just as simple as this so i'm just going to delete this recover to the original code so this is the difference between roles and claims